Hello guys, and welcome to episode 6 of Feed the Beast Tutorials. So, if you remember last episode, we utilised the Mob Grinder block, which is a pretty cool machine from Mine Factory Reloaded. And it produces Mob Essence, and we're going to be utilising that in this video for the Auto Spawner. So if, if you guys don't know how to use the Mob Grinder efficiently, definitely go check out the last video, link in the description, and link uh, annotation at the end of this video. So, first of all, what you guys are going to want to do is ho hook the auto spawner up to power. I'm using a creative energy cell. If you're doing it in survival, you want to find some other source of power. But just for demonstration, I'm going to be using this. Now, what you guys are going to want to do is basically get yourself a safari net. And a safari net launcher. So, you can probably guess what it does. And you can basically set it to release or capture mode by shift right clicking. I want to put it in capture mode shoot it at this villager and now the villager is stored inside this safari net and what we're going to do is well before i continue guys you're going to want you're going to want to make sure that this safari net is a reusable one it cannot be any others than a reusable one now place this inside this slot here in the auto spawner and what should start happening is the idle time is going to start going down and we should be getting some villagers but hey, nothing's happening. I wonder why that is. Well, it's because we haven't actually hooked it up to a portable tank. So, I believe if I extract this, I believe portable tanks, you do have to extract it from a certain side. Is the top going to work? I wonder if the bottom's going to work. I believe the you do actually have to extract liquids from tanks out the bottom. If I just do that, yeah, there we go. So now it's in output mode. We are actually going to output some mob essence. Oh, I had a little bit of a lag spike there. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to right click this uh, pipe with the Yeta wrench. And now I'm going to connect this up to the auto spawner. So hopefully if I just do that, this guy's now going to get some mob essence in him. And as you can see, he's now spawning villagers. But he's spawning lots of different types of villages, and sometimes, say you were doing different trades, this would be a very efficient way to get lots of different villages for different trades. But say you wanted that exact villager. So what you can do is click on this, spawn exact copy. It will use a little bit more mob essence, but that way, when villagers spawn, it's going to be that exact same villager that spawns. So I believe once he spawns, it should be the exact villager that we captured. So there we go. That's the villager that we captured, if you remember, I believe. So the work's going up. And then there we go. I've got another villager. And I believe... I don't believe we have many trades. <laughs> or these, these villagers, anyway. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the auto spawner. And just as a quick tip, someone will actually um, inform me of this in, in the comments section in my previous video. And what they said was, is that spawners have a 9x9 nine nine radius. I don't know if that applies to the auto spawner, because we're on about a different type of spawner. But I believe it could be the same auto spawner. Now I am going to leave a link to the wiki in the description if you want to go and check that out. If you want any more information than what I've shown you guys. But yeah. Hope you've enjoyed, guys. Hope you have learnt something as well. Thank you for watching. Goodbye from Potent Plum.